Am I the asshole? For making my dad's fiancé cry? My father and his fiancé have been together for about six years now. When they first got together, I 17M at the time was still living at home. She moved in about a month into their relationship, and I didn't have a problem with her at first, until she tried to actually mother me. I'm not talking about giving advice or being a supportive role model, more like giving me a 900 curfew I live in a rural town so that's a joke and cleaning up after her dog has an accident. Every time I'd bring it up to my dad, he'd say just try, for me. Needless to say, I moved out soon after. Fast forward to a week ago. My dad invites me over for dinner, out of nowhere, as we haven't spoken in quite some time. I hesitantly accept, and spend the following few days trying to prepare myself for what they're going to say. I show up that night, bottle of wine in hand, anxious out of my mind. The night goes on for a few hours, us exchanging small talk, until I can't take it anymore and ask why they invited me. My dad said that they were getting married and wanted me to be his best man. I'm not going to lie, I laughed. Hard. This turned into the fiancé crying because she thinks that I don't like her, and I told her she was correct. It should also be said that given the option between me or his fiancé, my dad would choose her in a heartbeat. For example, I went on a two-day camping trip. I had a spot in the garage for my car when I left, she had it when I got back until I moved out. And I really only care about that because hail damage. I've been getting comments about if that was the worst the fiancé was while I was living there, so I guess this is info I should add to the post. She comes from a very Christian family, and if her parents found out about the situation, I've heard, she'd be essentially shunned. So I guess the biggest thing is her keeping us a secret. She expects us to just accept her into the family, and I guess her assumptions were somewhat correct, but how can she expect that when she doesn't think we're worth of her family? She knows she's doing something wrong, yet she wants us to play along like no one is being hurt. However, at this point, I guess that one thing could have changed. I didn't ask at dinner. Not the asshole. I'll never understand parents who don't take into account their children when dating and moving someone else in. Not the asshole. Your dad showed you his priorities. He is older than me and is marrying someone barely older than my daughter. He wasn't there for you and now wants you to be there for him. WTF. Not the asshole it's clear your dad chose her over you. I don't understand the you're the asshole comments. If I don't like someone I'm not going to go out of my way to be nice except at work otherwise I don't care what they say. I have to say you're not the asshole on this one. Yeah, you were kind of rude. But your dad allowed this woman was was barely older than you move into your home, colonize, and try to assume the role of mother when you were still strangers. That makes me suspicious that the ultimate goal was to alienate you and get you to move out. And in the intervening years, it does not sound like your dad has done much to repair your relationship. Suddenly asking you to dinner to drop this news on you with the expectation that you would be happy seems a bit oblivious to me. Not the asshole. Your dad was TA for asking you to be best man in front of her. She's what, a whopping seven years older than you. She tried to control you, she took over your home. He let her. He sacrificed you. Anne, they want you to like her. My dad had one of these. She was eight months younger than me. They were married for 16 years. I have not had a relationship with my dad for. I don't remember anymore. She dropped him like a hot potato the second he showed any wear and tear. He even had a facelift for this cow. He no longer resembles my father. In the end, they both got what they deserved. Not the asshole. Not the asshole this is not something light, it's a situation that made a young person decide to move out. How is your dad even imagining you would have played such a role in his wedding when his relationship estranged the two of you? Not the asshole it's a creepy relationship. He is so much older and even at 30, she is crying when she is told the truth. 
Not the asshole tell Missy I mean, mom I mean, dad's new reason for being that if she's interested in being your mother, you're fully prepared to go nuclear. And by nuclear, I mean go full maladjusted 14 year old. You're not my real mom slam doors. I hate you, I wish I'd never been born roll your eyes. I don't want to be seen with you in public. Not the asshole. I swear to God. My father did something similar to me when I was younger, in which, right before I met his girlfriend at the time, he said something along the lines of, don't act up and cause problems for me while she's here. This, along with your father telling you to try for him, is just so wrong. I'm so sorry your father doesn't respect you as much as he should. You have every right not to approve of their wedding, and while what you did may seem a bit harsh, I'd say it's fair since they clearly weren't listening before you moved out. Not the asshole sorry your dad is not thinking with the right head. It would be interesting if her family found out by mistake about them not being married for so many years. And the creepy age like a sugar daddy relationship. Ooh. So when they got together. You were 17 and she was 24 and he was 48. Yeah, that's gross. Not the asshole. My dad has been married a handful of times. He always presented them to me with pride. Look at my new family and he always hated it when I couldn't act the part. And believe me I tried. Lots of trauma later, I'm still appalled at how tone deaf his has been. And I don't try anymore. I'm a healthier person for it. Not the asshole. And that laughter at her is not so secretly delicious to me lol. Not the asshole. Many people believe, being the parent means, they can decide and have all the power and the child has to do as they want. No, being a parent means having the responsibility and doing the hard work, provide for the children. You can't move in a family and decide, you make the rules from now on without doing the hard work first. If you can't stand the truth don't ask for it. Not the asshole. Your dad started dating someone not only half his age but someone who was young enough to be your sibling. That in itself is fucking gross and it's very obvious exactly what kind of man your dad is. Wait until she has one of his gross old Pacino babies, you'll cease to exist. Not the asshole I had a very similar stepmom. She would set my bedtime and had a roster for me with an allotted time for cleaning up her cat's kitty litter and sent an angry letter to my real mum saying that she was a better mum to me than my real mum, she was the biggest utter to me. Not the asshole dot she cried because of that. You don't even have a relationship dot I think your father was trying to connect with you in a weird way using the wedding and the lady make this about her. You don't have to like her, just need to be polite and it seems you were. The question was unexpected and you just reacted laughing. Don't see a big deal here and no reason to cry. Not the asshole. So she was half his age when they started dating. Ooh. Given your history over the past six years and the fact that you have been low contact I am puzzled as to what he thought would happen. Not the asshole your dad in all respects is a shit dad. He chose a girlfriend over his own flesh and blood and then let her walk all over you. I really laughed with you with your response. This is what your father gets for choosing his super young wife over his son. I'm curious about how they thought it would be a good idea choosing you as best man. Not the asshole, at all. Not the asshole I applaud your restraint. Not the asshole I still get surprised by parents who have kids and pick their partner over their child. Even though I have a parent who has been doing that for years. You told him your issues and he gave you the standard just try for me line. Which by the way a lot of them use. Mine says the same thing. You have been trying. He invited you to his house knowing already that you have issues with her and how he treats you when it comes to her. What was he expecting you to act?